Now your first alert storm team forecast with meteorologist Lauren Hope. It's a beautiful day at the beach, but it's also a dangerous one. We've got double red flags up in Bay Gulf and Walton counties. Now high winds still being the issue across the area directly out of the south. You can see some movement with the umbrellas, even some of the vegetation. Also minor beach erosion across the area, all thanks to what once was tropical storm Cristobal. It is far from over. You will have plenty of opportunities to have beautiful beach days and be able to actually go into to the golf today is not that day so hold off until later this work week into the even the weekend will be far better watches and warnings we're still dealing with high surf advisory up that expires into tonight small craft advisory encompassing all of those areas close to the coastline there and we just had that flash flood watch lifted for the west end a couple isolated showers breaking out primarily on the western counties we're still seeing that in okaloosa to puniac springs through walton county up through holmes county otherwise it's shaping up to be a rather nice day in comparison to what we dealt with this past weekend. Forecast verified one to four inches of rain across the area. We saw some minor flooding mainly along coastal spots here, but man, tropical now depression increased of all is still far from over weakening, but as expected, moving northwest at 15 miles per hour. Max winds sustained at 35 miles per hour. Max wind gusts up to 45. We were still dealing with some of those very last outer bands overnight last night, but remnant moisture is still progressing north. This carries through Arkansas, through Missouri, scrapes by Chicago as a remnant low, still maintaining 30 miles per hour. And then watch this, even continues up through Canada. So many people still dealing with those impacts from what was tropical storm Cristobal for us this past weekend. All right, brand new pattern into tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms up to 70% again. Still dealing with sea breeze convection into the afternoon by Wednesday. Cold front on the way for Thursday potentially stalling. We'll have to fine tune this as we get closer to Thursday and into Friday. Some models disagreeing saying it's a clean sweep, but keeping isolated showers and storms around for Friday, but that could very well change. We could likely even see a dry day for Friday, depending on that model consensus. Saturday and Sunday looking to be a whole lot more favorable than this past weekend. Eerie, dreary, rainy and windy, but for Saturday and Sunday this time around just a stray shower or two, but get ready for the heat and the humidity inland spots topping off in the low to mid 90s. So this is why we say you'll have plenty of opportunities to take advantage of the beautiful beaches. Today's not that day. Yeah, definitely. And we could feel that humidity yesterday just when I was walking out there. So yes, guess it's summer once again. Yeah, it's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> True. All right. Thanks so much, Lauren. Well, we are now seeing new video of the Musset Bayou wildfire one month after